I just woke up. Uh, it's what, 7.30? 7.20 in the morning today. And uh, I've been trying to correct my sleep pattern for the longest time. And I'm so happy today that I finally slept and woke up on time. I've been struggling. Um, a lot of you enjoyed my previous uh, day in my life quarantine edition. So yeah, here's one more of that video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. But right now I'm so sleepy, but I'm forcing myself to get up because I really, really need to correct my sleep schedule. It's, it's been getting ridiculous. Time to get myself a cup of tea. I realized I didn't show you my morning skincare routine in my last video. Uh, so I'm just gonna show that to you. And also, I'm so not a morning person. So excuse the lack of enthusiasm, uh, but I am going to wash my face and this is the Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Cleanser and I usually um, take a shower in the night, which is why I'm not taking one right now uh, because I work out at 6 o'clock in the evening and I'm always um, taking a shower after that and yesterday I washed my hair and did my hair so which is why I woke up with like nice hair in the morning. I'm gonna take my Foreo, wet it a little bit, and then use that to cleanse my skin. Next, I'm going to apply some toner. This is the Clinique Anti-Blemish Solutions. So I just got done with my periods and um, my skin really gets flared, especially in my chin. Um, I tend to get a lot of breakouts and they usually tend to go away um, a couple of days after my periods. They take a while to heal um, and I change up my routine accordingly. So today I'm going to use this toner. I also have this Pixi Vitamin C toner that I've used up almost and a couple of other uh, toners that I like to use depending on how my skin is doing. So it just gets rid of any of the excess dirt and sebum that your face wash couldn't get rid of. And then I am going to apply this Micro Essence from L'Oreal. I've just recently started using it, it's quite nice. This has salicylic acid in it, so it's good for acne. It's super hydrating and lightweight, so I like to use this. Just let it sit on my skin for like a few seconds. Then I'm going to take this Clinique Moisture Surge Eye, a very, very tiny amount, and apply it right here. And then I'm going to take my La Roche Posay Faclar Duo Plus. It's one of my favorite products for when I'm breaking out. And this one also has an SPF of 30, so I'm not missing out on my sunscreen. And I'm just going to take this much. So a lot of people ask me where I buy this from. It used to be available in India, but sadly they moved out and it's not available very easily anymore. So I just stock it up when I'm traveling. I think I picked this one up in Paris. All right, and now I'm just gonna apply some lip balm. Taking this Clinique one, it's the one that I can see here. One of my favorite acne spot treatments is completely over and I'm so sad that I did not stock up on my Mario Badescu drying lotion. Nothing kills my acne like this so if you guys are ever traveling then please pick this up. It's so good for active acne. Um, it's the best spot treatment I've ever used. Okay so that's it for my morning skincare routine. So I'm just gonna finish my breakfast and talk to you guys after. I'm just going to write down a to-do list while I eat my breakfast so that I have a purpose to the day and it just really makes me um, productive. Bye.
Okay, so it's 10 o'clock right now and I just changed, got ready, got dressed. I have my camera ready as well. I'm gonna film. Um, I think the skirt is from Bershka and the stop is from H&M. And yeah, just open my hair out and I'm feeling so much better now that I am dressed up. Okay, so it's time to film a video and I've done my setup right there. I've got all of the makeup on my bed, that's my camera right here and that's going to be my background. So here is everything that I'm going to use. It's going to be a very simple uh, makeup look for video calls and meetings. And yeah, that's everything. Uh, so it's going to be super quick and I'm going to show you how I shoot my makeup tutorials. The microphone is from Rode. This is the Rode video mic. And I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing the name. The camera I use is the Canon 6D Mark II and the lens that I'm using is a Sigma 30mm 1.4 lens. The reason I love this camera is because of the flip screen. I can see myself when I'm recording and that's so important for me because I shoot by myself. So I'm usually sitting in this corner and uh, looking at the camera and filming. I'm going to start by using a primer water and you can skip this. I'm going to start this look using a primer water and this is something that is I'm going to start the look using primer water and this is a setting and refreshing setting. So I just got done filming. I really like this look. I'm just going to take some pictures and then I'm going to go see if everything is okay. One of my biggest fear is that I have filmed the entire thing and the next thing you know that the microphone wasn't working and that has happened to me so many times but let me quickly take some pictures and then we'll get ahead with the day. And we're done. I need to clean up everything. I have all the products and I'm just putting it back where it belongs right when I'm done with my um, filming because if I put it on for some other time it never never works out so I'm just gonna do that if you guys would want to watch my entire makeup collection and the way I have organized them I'm gonna link it down below so you guys can go watch it um, I really liked how that video turned out so this is the makeup look that I did I think it turned out great I have set my camera over there and I'm just sitting here and taking some thumbnail pictures for this video right here. I think we got a nice one. That looks good. It's 12 in the afternoon right now. I'm just doing some admin work. I have a meeting with my um, with Nikita from my team and I'm also prepping my lunch actually. I want to eat fried rice so bad. So I don't have any leftover rice so I'm just making some fresh rice and uh, once I'm done with my meeting I will go cook. So I'm just waiting for Nikita to call me. Eating my lunch and talking to my dad. Hi. Hi, hello, hi. Hi everyone. Hope you are doing well. Hmm. 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 Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is True here from Lone Fox. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. That was so good, you guys. I finished it all in one breath. I just like to wash the dishes as soon as they're done because later I get so lazy to do them. So I'm just uh, cleaning up the kitchen and I'm washing off all of the utensils that I uh, use to cook and have lunch. I'm just making some green tea. If I sit on my bed for five more minutes, I'm gonna pass out. So I forced myself to get out of bed and I think I'm gonna like play with some makeup 
I feel like that's gonna wake my brain up. So it's currently 3.30 in the afternoon and I am shooting again, uh, sharing some of my favorite lifestyle brands um, and products that are made in India. So I thought that would be a nice video to put up on my channel. So I'm just filming that and uh, yeah, nothing much. It's just been like such a productive day so far. I was just like taking shots in like different corners of my house while I had put uh, my camera, this camera on charge. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna sit down and film in the same location because the lighting is great there. So I got done filming. My jaw literally hurts because I am so stupid. I forgot to turn the microphone on and I filmed the entire thing. And then I realized that the microphone wasn't turned on. So I had to film the entire thing again. And it's like what, 10, 15 minutes of me just talking about the products and the brands. <sighs> so I'm exhausted and right after that I had a zoom meeting to attend uh, with a brand and it just I connected with all of them after such a long time and I was just like catching up with them and like talking so much so right now I am so exhausted but anyway it's uh, almost five o'clock right now and I need to get ready for my workout which is at six o'clock uh, so I'm gonna start by removing my makeup first I'm gonna take a cotton pad and soak it very very uh, well with a bi-phase makeup remover it can be any 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 makeup remover that you have if it has an oil and a micellar water solution to it it'll work really well and I'm wearing a waterproof mascara so this will be a great tutorial uh, to understand how to remove waterproof mascara so I literally drenched the cotton pad with it and what I'm going to do now is press it onto my eyes like so and wiggle it just a little bit. So this way the product has some time to break down the makeup and everything comes off without breaking any eyelashes okay next i like to take my bobby brown makeup melter and cleanser this stuff is so good i love using this it comes out as a foam like so and i just like to spread it onto my dry skin directly onto the makeup and massage it Another one of my favorite cleansing balms is from Clinique. I love the Take the Day Off Balm. I've gone ahead and added some water into my hand and that makes the cleanser this milky consistency. And this is what is going to take away all of the makeup. I went ahead and rinsed my face and that has removed everything I am not going to apply too many things right now because I am going to come back and shower right after my workout uh, so I'm just going to take my Clinique Moisture Surge this is the hydrating supercharged concentrate two pumps of it and I'm applying it all over my face I changed into my workout outfit my top is Nike and these shorts are decathlon I love these and shorts are the only thing I'm able to wear and work out these days because it's so 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 hot uh, but now I'm actually gonna put my hair up in a top bun and a top knot because I have these curls and I want them to stay this way and if I tie them in a top knot uh, it kind of stays uh, in the same particular like wave yeah I have actually done a video on all of the different braided hairstyles that I like to do when I'm working out so if you guys would want to go check that out I'm going to link it
<laughs> that's it i will be listening to some music and i am going to eat some dates right now because um it's like a nice little snack to have like half an hour 45 minutes before i work out i usually have some bananas but i don't have banana right now so i am eating two to three dates and that's going to be like fuel and energy for my workout today I'm actually gonna check what the workout of the day is today. <sighs> Suraj usually puts it up by five o'clock. Oh yeah, it's out. Workout day five. I'm just checking it out. So he always like has the beginner, the intermediate, and the advanced version of it. Okay, so today we have a five, four, three, two, one drill. So you do five of the exercise, then four, then three, then two into one. So it's going to be a circuit. So we start with like a 50 second plank, burpees, squats, push ups, then 40 second planks, and then the last one is like 10 second plank. So it's been 15 minutes since my workout. It's 7.15 right now. And it's time for me to have my protein shake. And I like to have this one. Uh, this is the Ace Blend Rich Vanilla uh, one. And this is a plant-based protein. And I'm gonna show you how I like to make my protein shake. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna put in is some ice. I really like my protein shake chilled you guys. Then I'm gonna take some almond milk. This is the plain unsweetened one. I'm just gonna like eyeball it. Just that much is enough. Then I am going to add in my protein powder and I'm gonna top it up with water. Alright. Shake it and it's ready. That's it. I got tired doing that. Mm. So, after my protein shake, I also take my supplements uh, with like I have multivitamins, calcium, and omega fish oil. And am I the only one who does it this way? So I know a lot of people put the pill in first and then they sip the water and I do the other way around. I just find it works better for me. Otherwise, if I put the pill in first, I start getting the taste of the pill and I hate that. And now I have the water, I put the pill in and then I swallow immediately and then I don't get the taste. Leave a comment down below if you do it this way too. A lot of people think I'm weird. And the reason I, d I have it now is because I never forget to drink my protein shake, but I always forget to take my supplements. And this way I have kind of made it a habit. Now automatically I reach out to my multivitamins and my supplements after the protein because I've just made it like a sequence so this way I don't forget so I straight away went to make dinner and for dinner I made some lemon coriander egg drop chicken soup and probably be on TikTok while I ate my dinner guys I am so addicted to TikTok I don't realize like I'm on the app for like an hour if you guys haven't followed me yet please go follow me i'm trying my best i'm not the best on tiktok i really am not and i'm trying i'm really trying it takes takes quite a lot of patience to make tiktok videos all right nighttime skincare routine i just washed my face i used the clinique liquid facial cleanser i'm almost running out of it what should i use today my face is kind of breaking out like you saw in the morning. Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna do any more toner. I'm just gonna go straight with this essence. And apply it. 
onto my skin. This is the same one I used in the morning. It's from L'Oreal. I'm going to use this Kiehl's uh, Creamy Eye Treatment. Uh, this is uh, with avocado and it's very, very rich and creamy. So I'm just taking that onto my ring finger, warming it up. You need to really warm up this product. Next, I'm going to use uh, this Dr. Shed's Basic Brightening Extra Gentle Daily Peel. Really like this. Has glycolic acid, lactic acid. So it helps in improving the texture of the skin. It takes around like um, four to five days for my skin to completely heal once they start flaring up after my periods. And if this happens to you when you normally have perfect skin, do not worry. Stressing about it will only make it happen more. And stressing will not let it go anyway. So there's no point stressing about it. Be gentle on your skin and it's okay. It's completely okay to have breakouts. It's very, very normal. See, for me, it's all hormonal and it's like I can't do anything for me to kind of stop this. And I've also been eating a lot of mangoes because, you know, it's the season. I'm not going to stop myself. Yeah. <laughs> So this is three days since I filmed the video and I'm just about to edit it so I thought I should show you my skin um, in three days and this is what it looks like so don't worry your skin naturally takes time to heal and for me because I have a lot of hormonal acne I just let it be and it just heals in its own time. Uh, usually it's three to four days for me after my periods and then the skin kind of becomes clearer again so don't worry if you have breakouts it's completely normal just give it like three or four days and it's gonna be completely fine so don't worry about it next I'm gonna use uh, this 100% organic kakadu plum and pomegranate oil uh, this is from juicy chemistry so I'm just taking two drops of it and that's more than enough pressing it onto my skin so that's it for my skincare routine keeping it simple i'm gonna apply some lip balm it's in my bedside table so i'm gonna go do that now i like to use the mux red de miel it's very very rich so i'm watching broad church i'm on season two episode two so I'm gonna watch this probably for an hour and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pass out in between the episodes and um, Broadchurch is great actually, um, Ankita Coralista uh, recommended it to me and she spoke quite highly of it and I loved it. I watched season one in one sitting so yeah it's brilliant, beautifully shot, uh, very like the I love the way the suspense unfolds. And I'd love to know what you're watching on Netflix. Hope you had an amazing day as well. For me, today was really productive and I'm hoping tomorrow is the same. And I really hope you're doing amazing wherever you are. Stay safe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this. And if you aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And you can also hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I have a new video. And I will see you in the next one. I really hope you stayed this long. I'm guessing this is a very long video. So if you made it this far, you're amazing.